Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kinsey. If you guys are new here, please ignore my dogs. They are really hyper right now, and when they play, they make a lot of noises. And I'm really just trying to get on with my day. Like, <laughs> I'm trying, okay? But anyways, my name is Kinsey. I'm a lifestyle vlogger. I post a lot of fitness, a lot of health, a lot of makeup, products, skincare, style, daily vlogs, weekly vlogs. Dogs. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. We're gonna be doing a little girl chat, get ready with me. I haven't done a chit chat get ready with me in so long. Um, let me know if you guys like these videos. I can definitely do more. I wanna do some more with my sister because she's actually really good at makeup. We just did a um, like truth or drink get ready with me video. So if you guys wanna go watch that, you guys can go check that out below. I have my latte that I made with my espresso machine. If you know, you know. I've been having some drama. Um, and by drama, I mean like for some reason, I just get so anxious before I order Nespresso pods because I always order the wrong ones. So anyways, so I've already done my skincare and I put on my SPF. I don't think I'm gonna do a primer today unless I find it in my back. Um, I'm not gonna use this foundation, but the Rare Beauty foundation is really, really good. Part of me is like, do I use it? I don't know. I've been using the Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation like nonstop. This stuff is $20. It is the best foundation. I'll have every product that I talk about linked below. This is the best foundation ever. $20, guys. But also, I really like the Rare Beauty Foundation. This, I find, gives you like a little bit more coverage, too. We're gonna start off with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I feel really cool with my clips. Um, I have them on just because I see everyone else put them on. I understand the concept, but I've never worn them before. I'm going to get to the questions, but this primer is really light. I've only used it a few times. I just got sent it. It feels like water, almost, but... Not in a bad way. Okay, first question is, what is the one most important thing you do for self-care? Okay, when I think of the most important thing I do that makes the biggest impact on my life, this is probably gonna sound annoying to people who don't like working out, but if you do, working out by far makes the biggest difference for me. Okay, I'm gonna do Sephora Best Skin Ever, but I really love this foundation too. I've also been using a beauty blender. This is technically the Real Technique sponge. If you guys haven't heard people talk about these, these are so good. They're literally like $7 for two, or maybe it's like $14 for two. Um, they're cheaper than a beauty blender. You get way more. I honestly much prefer this sponge over a normal beauty blender for what it's worth. Anyways, I was applying it with a brush and now I'm doing the beauty blender and I really like it, but the first thing would be working out. Oh, I just realized I haven't set up my mirror. <laughs> Don't mind me, everyone. If I'm consistently working out, I'm just overall a better human being and I'm also like able to just handle more and do more. I feel better in every area of my life. I also really like going on walks. Like that actually was something that I realized over COVID has really helped me. So going on like long morning walks. Also, I really just love like cooking and reading and just hanging out by myself. I'm using the pretty basic mirror, but I find that sometimes I forget that I actually really love spending time by myself. And um, once I do that, I just feel like a better person. Like guys, look at that, that is one pump. It is so good, $20. I am still so tired, I haven't fully woken up today. Oh my God, okay, how do you stop caring about embarrassing things from the past? <sighs> okay, I so feel this one. Um, okay, let me find my concealer. I don't think I'm gonna bake today, am I? Maybe I will. There are some things that I've like said or done that I will just think of like before I'm going to bed and I just, you know, like wanna die. Um, <laughs> but like the thing that helps me is remembering that like the other people probably don't remember that. And even if they do, like we all have really embarrassing moments and you just have to let it go. But like we're all human and we're all gonna do things like that. But I definitely feel that and I understand that. Like there's one thing in particular I can think of that just like really makes me cringe. And like, I mean, it's life, it's just part of it. Also like just laugh, just laugh about it, just laugh about it. Okay, I put way too much concealer on. When I was really young, I was actually like really, really shy and I remember just being like so scared of everything. And I also remember this one moment I was in like, I'm gonna like halfway bake. I don't even know if this counts as baking, but like we'll see, you know? Okay, we have some Laura Mercier powder. Anyways, I remember having this moment of realization and it was like second grade gym class and I was just getting embarrassed about something and I, I realized that if I just laugh with them, then it like totally diffuses the situation and I remember it to this day. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just you're human, it's gonna happen. Um, but they probably don't even remember, so it's fine. 
Okay, what qual oh, what qualities are most attractive to you? Um, I think like emotional intelligence is probably like my number one. It's actually like few and far between to come by these days, so that's a big one. In a friend, actually in any person, I think self-confidence. I actually just record, this is like so much, but uh, I'm no makeup pro, okay? I just recorded a podcast with a friendship coach and she was saying that there were 12 qualities from a bunch of researchers that they put together of the best qualities in a friend. And it really surprised people that like self-confidence was in there. And I actually like couldn't agree more. I really don't do well with like overly insecure clinging on to me. Like if I feel like I have to, or they have to in any relationship, like constantly reassure in a way that's really unhealthy, not in a way that's just like, you know, when you're in a relationship and if something like triggers you or messes with you, I think it's healthy to be like, hey, like to reassure that person. Like I 100%, but when it's a friendship, especially, and they're constantly like jealous of you with other people or like, oh my God, but you don't wanna be with me and like that stuff. Like that's just like really not my vibe. I don't do well with that. Okay, I really like self-confidence because of myself, I, when I'm confident, I'm able to be a better friend and it eliminates a lot of like really unnecessary problems if that makes any sense. Using my favorite bronzer, this is the Hourglass Bronzer, an ambient lighting bronzer, luminous bronze light. I love Hourglass powders, as we know, it's like my favorite thing ever. Okay, Faith Fearless, Taylor's version song. I mean, guys, like, there's definitely a lot to talk about here. I love the That's Win song with Keith Urban. I love Bye Baby. There's a Bye Bye Baby. I mean, I love the whole thing. I've been playing it nonstop. It really is just so good. It just, it takes you back to a different time of life. It's just like so good, guys. Of course, the one day I film it, I'll have an actual breakout. Of course, no, of course. Okay. Okay, I got people who were messaging and I've been seeing this on social media so much and they said, I'm scared to post about things I love, yoga, the gym, etc. I feel being judged, any tips? Because this is my job, that's not even something that I thought about. And at first I was like, wait, what? Like, I don't get it. And then I thought about if this wasn't my job, I think I actually, and I was just like a person with like a normal relationship to social media. I actually understand I think I might actually feel that way sometimes too when they're like posting to Instagram is so embarrassing. Um, I obviously don't feel that like now, but I think this goes along the lines of like, in just in general, not caring what people think. And I think we waste so much time focus on what other people think. And like at the end of the day, people don't care as much as you think they do anyways. Like, and I, I don't mean that in like a rude way. I just mean like, it's honestly like freeing. Wow, okay, I've been really into blush lately. We just used the hour, we just used the hourglass ambient lighting blush, sublime flush. I love this one. I think you just have to post it. I think it's probably only gonna get better over time as you do it more. I think there's really nothing more attractive than qual, oh my God, what was that? Like, what did I even say? Okay, I think there's nothing more attractive than confidence in a person. And if you're just posting and doing it, I think that's cool. Like even now, um, like girls from like my hometown who are posting more of like what an, a quote-unquote influencer would post or whatever I like love that they do that and I think that's really cool But like I know that there are people who are like oh my god Who does she think she is and whatever and like those are never really the kind of people that like you want to be with anyways And I think also it just shows I don't know maybe not even that you want to be with anyways I think it just shows insecurity on their end. You know what I mean? So there's nothing I think confidence goes a long way and just post what you wanna post. I am so sorry. Let me just give you a little rundown to what has just happened. An hour ago, my camera died. I put the battery on multiple chargers. It will not charge. There's nothing I can do. We're filming on my phone. I'm so sorry, but I really like the video and I don't wanna mess it up. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm really sorry. Is my coffee still? What am I even, oh, I did have to use these though because obviously, I couldn't leave the baking powder on. This is not what I use. Um, the Hourglass Dim Lip Powder, I've talked about this so many times. This is like what I just kind of set my foundation with and it just makes my skin look so glowy, which I really, really love. I don't have that much left to do. Um, I am gonna use a different product though. So this is the Brow Fix Clear Brow Gel. I really like clear brow gels. I haven't used this before, clearly. I just got it in PR. I like a good clear brow gel because my lashes are already pretty dark. So I always find that clear just kind of works for me. I'm gonna brush them up. Oh, I really like this. 
Wow. I actually like really, look at the difference between my two brows. <laughs> wow. I always kind of try to brush them up a little bit and just see what I can do with that. But I really like that. Okay, I was asked. Okay, now I'm going on the next brow. Next question I got, I got a lot of questions about PMDD. If you guys don't know what PMDD is, it's premenstrual dysphoric disorder. I have it essentially like the week before for me personally with my experience with it, before my period, my like anxiety depression is like out of whack. Like it's like imagine being moody on your period already, which I never felt like I was really moody. I don't really get like snappy necessarily. I just get really, really, really down. And it's just like the worst thing ever. And for so long, I just kind of thought that was normal because I had never, you know, like I said, gotten like moody on my period or my cycles beforehand. So I was like, oh, like this must be what everyone's talking about. And then it just got like really, really bad. And I was like, this just like can't be normal. All I do is just put on like more lip product. Like this is the story of my life. I originally went on birth control and um anxiety meds which i've been on and off anxiety meds my whole life anyways long story short i really don't like being on birth control i don't hate it i've been i started when i was like probably like 16 um and then i was on off and on not like off and on quickly but like over the years i've been sometimes i'm on it sometimes i'm not whatever i'm currently not on meds for it for a multitude of reasons i'm not anti-anxiety or birth control literally at all but I will say, ha knowing that I have it and knowing that there's a reason as to why I will get so down helps me a ton. Like that makes a really big difference, which like kind of sounds, I mean, it makes sense. Like if you know what's going on, I'm just gonna put some bronzer on my eyelids guys. So just as far as like period talk, PMDD and just in general, I would definitely recommend obviously like go talk to your doctor about it. I'm currently like working through what works for me. So I don't have any like real advice to offer, not that I would anyways, I'm not a doctor, but also like I got a lot of questions about like period, what do you do in your period? The thing that I've realized, again, my answer is working out, but the thing that I've realized that has helped me so, so, so much is I make sure I'm working out like I know when it's coming and I track it and I like make myself work out that day, even if it's the last thing I wanna do and it makes my entire cycle so much better and lighter and not as painful. My cramps are awful, whatever, but like even if, if I need to sleep more, I do things like that. Um, but I just try to make sure I'm moving because I've noticed that if I make myself move, even if it's just a walk, I feel like 20 times better. Got a lot of questions of girls who are going through breakups. I feel like everyone goes through breakups right before summer. It's really breakup season. We're gonna use this mascara. It's the Charlotte Tilbury 24 hour lift effect. I've never tried this before, I don't think. So I'm excited. Breakups suck. But I say this all the time, they'll probably be the best thing ever happened to you, especially before summer. Feel your emotions, um, spend time with friends. I have an entire podcast episode up on this with a breakup coach that is so good. She wrote a book about it called Breakup Boot Camp, and it goes to the science of like breakups, which I like love that stuff already. Um, and it was really, really helpful. I think breakups are not fun, but like you grow so much from them at the same time. And then you're just like one step closer. You know what I mean? My therapist says, you only have to get it right once. And that's very encouraging. Speaking of therapy, I've been getting questions about anxiety and therapy in general, um, and like therapy updates and things like that. I don't know what a therapy update necessarily means. I talked very openly about going to therapy. I go once a week on my channel. I um, have been going since like fifth grade when my parents got divorced. It was like a court mandate that we had to go to therapy. And now that I'm saying that out loud, like do my parents lie to me about that? But I'm pretty sure they still say that. So I don't know. You know when like you're told something when you're like, a kid and you say it at like 23 and you're like, wait, what? As if today couldn't be more of a mess, guys. Like, are you joking? I don't have um, Q-tips. So I'm gonna have to figure that out in a second. Therapy is like single-handedly probably the best thing ever. It also helps with your like, emotional intelligence is that's a huge thing and it it's really good because i don't like yes i do spiral in my thinking but i have someone who's unbiased that i can go to um so it's just really really very important for my mental health as far as anxiety goes i feel like my anxiety overall with life hasn't been as bad but i think in certain areas of my life it'll get like heightened but that makes sense because it's like make sense in that situation does this make sense I don't know how to fix my eye. And things that help my anxiety 
A lot of it is having things that I do every single day. So it feels like I have some sort of control over my day, especially when I'm like working from home. I think that alone is just like, for me kind of hurts. It hurts and helps my mental health. I don't actually know how to answer that. But things that help my anxiety, um, friends, family, going on walks, working out, cooking, reading, exercising, spending time outside, getting out of my daily routine at the same time, even though I'm saying routines help. Um, that's more so, there's things that I do to like be proactive though, to not get really anxious. And there's things that I do once I'm anxious. I'm going to be like at the lake. I love going to the lake. I'll just walk around there. Um, it really just depends. But sometimes you're just like having such an off time that the most productive thing you can do is like, is take care of yourself. And I feel like we live in a world that is so focused on like being productive and getting things done and blah, blah, blah. And like, for some reason we, we don't deem like taking care of ourselves as a productive thing when it's like an extremely productive thing because that affects every other area of your life. You know what I mean? Okay, last question is how to deal with friend breakups. Friend breakups are the worst. They're not fun. Um, and sometimes they just like kind of fizzle and fade out. And guys, like how am I gonna fix this? Literally like, you know what? I just honestly, I'm in such a place right now where I just, I, I, after the morning that I've had, I simply just cannot fix it. So I'm just gonna have to fix it like off camera after I film this video, guys. I'm sorry, just like don't look at it, you know? Oh, I found Q-tips, guys. That's exciting. All right, I have my lip liner. I'm gonna try to talk and do this at the same time. Friend breakups are really, really, really sad. I think it really obviously depends on the situation. Regardless, stay sweet in every situation. Um, I think people think like being petty and like dramatic is fun. And it's really honestly, when it comes down to it, just like not a good look. So don't do that. But I think stay sweet. Also, there's nothing wrong with communicating. I think so often friendships like fizzle out because we don't communicate. And I think we need to communicate our expectations. Sometimes in certain friendships, we're expecting way too much of them or they're expecting way too much of us. And I don't know, I would definitely try to have a conversation if you can. And if it's like past the point of no return, your friendship is broken up, that really sucks and it's sad. But at the same time, like I really just believe that there's like better friendships for you coming and for them as well. So stay sweet. Don't ever like talk bad about them. Don't do anything that's like rude. This is what I mean, I can't talk obviously and do this. Just stay sweet. Like sometimes friends are not meant to be in your life forever and that's okay. Um, that's just part of life, unfortunately. But you will never regret staying sweet and not being petty. Okay, I just lined my lips with the M Cosmetics lip liner. I think it's like Velvet Blur. Yeah, Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in Bunny. And then I'm gonna go over with my favorite Dior Lip Glow Lip Oil. I love this stuff. Now it's time, guys. It's really, really time to get rid of these. Oh, ow. So this is my look for today. I still haven't even finished my coffee. Like, I'm actually a maniac. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit-chat, girl talk, get ready with me. I would love to do more, especially having guests on. I'm sorry that this video was kind of a mess and all over the place. It just, it's been a day. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. gained 30 pounds in college and I was trying to figure out how to lose the weight. I would do every fad diet under the sun. I would do the grapefruit diet, the military diet, paleo, keto. You know, I would do the whole 1200, 1000 calories a day thing and just work out too much. Every toxic fad diet I tried and I would lose some weight, but then I would gain it right back when I became normal again. Um, so finally I went to my doctor and it was more of like a holistic doctor. And I just asked him, why am I binge eating cookie cake all the time? Like. I swiped my Carolina card constantly for my great American cookie cake, cookie cake sandwich that had icing in the middle. Do you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Yeah. It was so good. So I know good. everyone listening right now, their mouth is watering and it was so good. So I would just eat it all the time. But I asked my doctor, why am I always hungry? Like, why can't I stop eating? I never stop eating. I'm never not hungry. He was the first person to explain to me what fiber was. I was under the impression that protein is what really kept you full. But for me, what keeps me full is fiber. 